this was a very large operation. It would have taken a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of expertise to build something like this. And really that leaves very few candidates for who could have been behind it. You're really looking at a government agency from some, from some country um, who's politically motivated and who can afford to put the money and the time into building a threat like this and who has the insider information from a uranium enrichment facility that would facilitate building a threat like this. An intelligence agency, probably. Probably. Who has an interest in uh, setting back the Iranian nuclear program. Yes. That narrows it down quite a bit. It does narrow it down and you can see straight away the political motivation there. Uh, essentially, yes, what Stuxnet is trying to do is it's trying to uh, slow down or stop the uh, enrichment of uranium, which can be used for uh, atomic bombs. Were you ever concerned about your safety? Uh, this is the first time we've ever analyzed something that was so politically charged. We were looking for details about uranium enrichment facilities when we were doing our research. So it was, it was times when we, were, when we were worried, yeah. At one point you told a colleague, if I turn up dead and I committed suicide on Monday, I just want to tell you guys I'm not suicidal. Yes, well, I was joking at the time, but those sort of thoughts were occurring to us that we may be followed or that people may be interested in the information that we have and they may not want us to uh, disperse the information that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, or they may be interested in to find out how much we know, how close are we to finding out who's behind this. Uh, so those were the sort of things that were on our mind we were thinking that we may have some information here that people don't want discussed or that they would be interested in finding out how much we know.